Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be making this um, little car trash bag. Somebody posted in the sewing group that there should be a pattern for it, and I was like, yeah, probably. I didn't make a pattern necessarily, but I did kind of fake one, um, and I give you all the measurements in this video, so hopefully you'll be able to make it pretty easily. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so to make this super cute little trash can liner, um, well, car trash can, I should say, you're just gonna need a few pieces. Um, there is no actual sewing pattern for this. I literally just made it up a few minutes ago, um, and I probably won't make an actual written sewing pattern because I don't really have time for that. But um, my husband's car is disgusting, as I might have mentioned in the intro, so I wanted to make this for his birthday. Um, so it's a piece that is 10 inches wide, 13 inches tall. This part here is four inches. And then from here to here, these pieces here are three inches wide. And then it tapers to two inches. So the way I did that was I marked three inches here, three inches here, two inches here, two inches here. And then I um, just kind of angled my ruler to meet them up. The piece back here is just that 10 by 13 inch square because I didn't want to cut two of the same piece uh, because I'm going to have to carefully top stitch here anyway, so I may as well just cut off the excess, make it a little easier. So that's that piece. You just need two exterior and two woven fuse. And then the main part of this is 15 inches wide, 13 inches tall, and then two inch corners cut out. So 15 here, 13 here, two inch corners. And then I cut two of those out of my exterior and two out of waterproof canvas. Um, you could use any kind of fabric you have sitting around for the lining, but for how disgusting my husband is, waterproof canvas was the way to go. So we are going to start with the top of this trash bag. Um, these here are going to tie around the back of the seat so that it's easily removable. Um, you could choose to add Velcro to these pieces after we sew them together or even a snap or a magnetic thing, whatever. So I'm just gonna sew starting from the bottom to the top, across, down, I'm just gonna follow, but you're gonna leave the bottom open. And hopefully my machine does okay with the thin cotton. And you can use any kind of seam allowance you want. I'm just using like a 3 8 inch. going to cut away the excess just going to trim that down to about an eighth of an inch You want to cut it pretty close in those corners so that we can pull it through and easily top stitch. You could also choose to make that more of a curve just by kind of tracing it out a different way. the scrap piece to make something else. Oh, I thought I had a little turning thing somewhere around here. But 
I'm just gonna use my scissors to push that through. Just be really careful. I'm not necessarily applying any pressure onto the scissors, but just kind of wiggling it through. And I'm sure there are much easier ways to get that through there. This is just what I'm doing. Again, there's no actual pattern for this. And I wanted to make it so it wasn't too narrow that it would be hard to pull through. There we go. I can use my scissors to kind of push out those corners too. Yeah. So then we're gonna repeat that step on the other side. I always imagine like putting on pantyhose or something when I'm doing this. You gotta hate this. Okay, so now you'll have something that looks kind of like this. And we're just gonna press this with my iron really quick. Definitely wanna use some steam. Okay, so there's that. And now we're gonna top stitch around the outside edges. Uh, you can choose to close this now if you want, but it's really not necessary. Switch to it. gonna trim up my excess scraggly threads here there we go okay so this is gonna be the top portion this is gonna is gonna be what ties around your car thing wherever so I'm gonna work on my exterior and then I'm gonna work on my lining and then we'll be putting it all together so we'll just put all of this right sides together. Again, it's not really crucial what kind of seam allowance, just make sure you use the same seam allowance on all pieces. bottom. I'm just going to bring those pieces together. And if you wanted to, you could add um, like pockets to the outside of this so that it's more of an organizer and a trash can if you want. 
um, or you can add some kind of closure, maybe a little bit of Velcro, something simple to it. Um, I just know my husband and if he has to open it, he'd rather just throw it on the floor of his car and make me really mad. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then we'll work on this. And for the lining, I'm going to trim up my seam allowances. I'm going to trim those down, I should say. And then I'm going to keep this wrong side out and I'm going to fold it under. We're going to do a bit of a drop in situation with the lining. You don't have to do it this way, but it will make it a little bit quicker. So I'm just folding that under like half an inch to an inch, three fourths of an inch, wherever it lays naturally. And then I'm going to press it. Turn this outside. And then we're going to fold the top edge under. And try to mimic the same amount you did on the other side. And we're going to press this down. And now you can decide what you want to be the front, what you want to be the back. Um, I'll make this my front. I don't know. And we'll stick the lining inside, match up those corners. And then if you need to readjust something, you'll be able to know now. I'm just going to start clipping this all together and then I'll add that. Line up your side seams. This looks like a really good size. Okay, so now that I know my lining fits in there pretty well, everything feels... All right, well, fun story. My phone stopped recording and I can't necessarily undo this and redo it. Um, but what we did is we added this into those seams using uh, like the center markings to help us and then top stitch around the outside edge and that completed our project. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, there, Like I said, there is no written pattern for this, so you'll have to get a ruler, make some measurements. But I can see this being a really awesome Christmas gift for those messy people in your life. Um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you'll be making these. Um, and have a great weekend. Or week, whenever you're watching this. Um, have a great day. Bye!